Jeremiah chapter 20 verses 10 to 13. He has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce. Let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. He will be trapped, then we can prevail, and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me, like a mighty champion, my persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. After King Solomon's death, the United Kingdom of Israel had split into rival countries. The northern kingdom was called Israel and the southern called, Judah. Jeremiah was a prophet in Jerusalem at the time of the siege and destruction by the Babylonians. Jeremiah, 650 BC to 570 BC, was from Anathoth, about three miles north of Jerusalem in the southern kingdom. It was Jeremiah's birthplace and home. When the exile was over only 128 men returned to re-inhabit the town. He lived and prophesied for forty years, during the reigns of the last five kings of Judah. In that time he never saw his people follow his advice to turn away from their, their sins. As Babylon, Egypt and Assyria were each struggling to become the sole political leader of the world, Judah found itself, geographically located in the middle of the political triangle. Today's reading is Jeremiah's prayer which tells God of his struggles. He was doing what God asked him to do, people didn't like his message, so his life was filled with persecutions and sorrows. The most notable, was the death sentence that led to him being abandoned to die in the mud of a cistern. In spite of his persecutions and loss of friends he remains loyal to God's calling. Since the Lord was guiding Jeremiah's path, those who were persecuting him would stumble and would ultimately disgrace themselves. This certainty of exoneration allowed Jeremiah to sing and praise God for his mighty acts. God could be praised because he would rescue Jeremiah from the wicked. Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 11 to 14, For I know well the plans I have in mind for you says the Lord, plans for your welfare, not for woe. Plans to give you a future full of hope. When you call me, when you go to pray to me, I will listen to you. When you look for me, you will find me. Yes, when you seek me with all your heart, you will find me with you, says the Lord.